Good evening, and welcome to a new installment of United Nations News. After two weeks since the peace treaty, and a few regulations of the next generation, the United Nations clan looks like it's back to normal and in good health. But after such a terrible and horrific discovery yesterday, the UN has its doubts on a close ally called B-100. This clan is known for the assassination of DHG and its profile dictator, also known as V. What was astonishing about this could possibly be explained by how many of the UN Blacklist members were being recruited into its regime, including many UN hater figureheads such as Power, a UN stalker and terrorist who apparently worked against the UN back in the Reaper War and other minor conflicts. The UN, concerned about this, asked V himself about why he recruited them, and he replies stating that they haven't committed anything in his clan yet. Then, with the help of Reaper Delta, I have proof of something more horrific and far more valuable and very unacceptable. We are warning you, this video tells lies in all directions. V100 is very unprofessional. Oh, I, I really want to do something. Come on. Oh, this is the worst it's thing. like a bunch Where of kids playing in a dollhouse. Right. This is hilarious. Come on. Come on. Alright, alright. Oh, wow. I am General JV, and uh, this is my first General time Justin camp. Bieber. That's true. First of all, in the Bieber news, I would like to point out <laughs> the Pop Tart. I've seen his story. Hello! Welcome to the video! I'm gonna do anything you want! I have to go in a couple bit, in a couple minutes, let's get this, let's get this started. ...of the UN would be so. Yeah, we're not, according to the United Nations, we're not allowed to be allies, but, uh, Independence Day for us, we're independent now. Apparently, word on the street is the UN's gonna betray the, uh, V-100. So we're gonna do is have whatever we wish for now. I hope you uh, like this little message, JB. We found out. And we're coming for you. Well, not just yet, but you can come for us. We'll always be ready. Engines and TNG are on the line. Now you have something to be afraid of, and we're gonna come, and we're gonna destroy you once and for all. Not to mention, we both have a lot of allies who would love to help us. So, uh, if you want to declare war on us, go right ahead. But, uh, if you want to play, we're not going to play on any corny little fun silly maps. We're getting to that across now. It's going to be a fair fight, and we're, we're going to end up being on top. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to this message. Have a good day. With all due respect, V, I never said to not be allies. As a matter of fact, TNG looked like they were going well and behaving. They promised to change and liberate their old war-hungry style. But when you involve lying like this and misleading info, people think differently. And now, people under the control of V and TNG Shadow have an unjust cause for war, and you enlighten your negative sense of propaganda. You betrayed the Alliance and kept this hidden from the public. This is unacceptable, and you know as well as I do that this is not the right way. <laughs>